Hey guys, welcome back to the Inner Recesses of My Mind. I'm your host, Mephorius, and today we're going to be trying out Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. This game I have had on my backlog for so, so long, and I figured now should be a good idea to go ahead and tackle it. Plus, I want to take a break from Resident Evil. I am going to finish Resident Evil. I'm actually about to start the final chapter but i figured i need to probably take a break from that for a little bit so i'm going to play this for a little bit and then after that i'm going to jump right back on resident evil so a little backstory if you're a fan of studio ghibli they helped produce the first game along with team set like team five i was about to say team seven well anyway so is heavily inspired i don't know if the company is still together when they made this one however you can see the influences the story is different from the first one don't get me wrong they're the same world however they're not <sighs> that's the best way to say this they're not connected if you would so i'm going to be starting a brand new game i'm going to be playing it on normal and here we go. Playing it on PS4, by the way. Once upon a time, there were two worlds. One was a world torn by endless war, where strong lands devoured weak, and peace was a distant dream. Eventually, only a few great realms remained, glaring at each other across brittle borders. But then came a great king. There we go. Make sure you can hear me. One who would change this world forever. I think this is the only time we actually get a reference to the other world. Or should we say our world? You should. <sighs> this is where we're introduced to one of our heroes. We'll be arriving shortly, Mr. President. Hmm. What in the world? Uh, that looks like a no-no. Uh, somebody should do something about that. Someone should do something about that. Someone should do... Oh, no. Oh, now. Well, that's a way to start off by killing the main one of the main characters. Never mind. Yes, because that's exactly what happens. We get hit by airstrikes, and instead of being vaporized, we're magically sent away. What the f Whatever. <laughs> Chapter 1. The Fall of the House of Tildra. Now, the story is pretty sad. You'll understand in a moment. Hey, dead body! We're already off to a good start. The preparations are complete. Excellent. Then let us begin. If you're a fan of anything Ghibli like Ponyo, Spirited Away, or how you I'm trying to think of some other ones, but yeah, they're all classics, and this is heavily inspired by them. Like I said, the first game was partnered with Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, however you want to pronounce it. I'm Evan Betty Whisker Tildrum, King of Ding Dong Dell. Who are you? Never mind who. The question is where? Huh? huh? Well, now. Making sure. Would you look at that? You don't hear any excess noise in the background. Stay where you are! Wait! 
Uh, my head. I guess that was kind of a long shot. I was... I was on my way to the summit. So this... This has to be a dream. That or I'm... Oh. Intruder! Someone arrest this man! Hmm? Where is everyone? Nella! Nella, where are you? Oh, she must be preparing for the ceremony. <sighs> Sorry, but I'm really... But I'm not really in the mood to play, little guy. Excuse me! How dare you speak to me like that? I told you, I am a king! <laughs> <laughs> sure you are. Hey, can I ask you something? Am I dead? What? That's never a good sign. What the? What was that explosion? I mean, was that an explosion? I'm slightly dyslexic, so I apologize if I'm going to pronounce anything wrong. Is this your doing? Alright, forget about where you are for now. Let's just suppose for a second that what this kid said is true. The kid said is true. So, you're the king around here, huh? Yes, how many times do I have to tell you? All right, your majesty. I'm going to take a look around. Can you be a good boy and wait here for me? Hey! Don't you dare walk away from me. This just got announced... Oh, well, sorry. This just got announced for the Nintendo Switch and I believe other consoles as the... I want to say the complete edition because it comes with all the DLC. So, it comes with all the pre-order bonuses and all the extra story stuff that you had to pay the season pass for, as well as the free story. So, it's actually really good. They simplified the controls, you'll see in a moment, because if you played the original, it was kind of a real-time turn-based hybrid. It didn't work out too well. Anyway. Teach me to get trigger happy. They're not here to protect you. Get back. My question is, when did the president always carry a sidearm? Alright, like I said, the combat has been simplified. They turned it from kind of a turn-based affair to a hack and slash. You still... You don't have random battles. Then again, I don't think you had random battles in the first game. I never actually completed the first game. But there aren't any random battles in this game. Whoever you see on the battlefield, whether it's the main map or the the exploration map in the open world, you'll notice it jumps straight in. So, yeah. But, yeah. You have your light attack and you also have your heavy attack. Do more damage with more combos, yada, yada, yada. Every character is like this, so be prepared to be doing a lot of button mashing. Over there, you. you can also lock on. Ooh, two for one. Wow. There we go. You can also jump with circle. Are you okay? Don't come any closer. Somebody, arrest this man. Don't let him get away. Open your eyes. Nobody's coming. Nobody good at any rate. It looks to me like we both need to get out of here. What? What are you talking about? Hey. Can't you see it's a coup? What? A coup? Here? Oi. Hey, have you found the boy? Sir. No, sir. The men should be reporting in shortly. <sighs> Come on, we're getting out of here. Bring your tail. I'm trying to refrain from cursing. Alright. 
He may not look it, but the little cat kid is actually the main character. This is actually his story, but Roland plays a pivotal part. To strike while our enemy was preoccupied with preparations for the ceremony. This was a very clever strategy indeed, my lord. If only King Leonard had been less robust. He would have succumbed to the poison all the sooner, and our plot would have come to fruition all the more quickly. <laughs> Can I point out something? I know they're supposed to be mice, but does they look like a mouse to you? D does it? It looks more like a rat with a bowl cut. Not to pick on people with bowl cuts, but you know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> what does it matter now? Did we not plan for just such stubbornness on his part? He looks like a rat. You're going to sit here and lie to my face and say that is a mouse? No. No. That is a rat. King Leonard's untimely demise was affected without a hitch. Now the only obstacle remains. Is the boy. Yes, my lord. And once he is eliminated, the throne will be ours for the taking. I like how he's saying that like he's actually going to be a part of ruling the kingdom. I mean, dude, you're his second in command. More than likely, you're not even going to be recognized, so I don't even see why bother, okay? It is time. The mouse kind to assume its rightful place at last. Again, I say that is not a mouse. That is a rat. <laughs> Lord Mousinger, the boy, he, he's escaped. What? No matter. We will find him soon enough. Or rather, the Black Knight will. You know, you gotta be a level of sleaze to actually kill a king. I mean, not, don't get me wrong, I know that there's places that have horrible, horrible dictatorships. But if the place has been running peacefully for generations... No. Maybe, I don't know. <sighs> anyway, back to the story. I guess this was the explosion we heard. Hey. You said your name was Evan, right? I'm Roland. And you're the king, King Evan? Yes. At least I was. I don't quite understand what's going on. Ding Dong Dell has been at peace for generations. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it has. But still waters run deep. I should know. I run a country myself. All right. We have to move. You need to get out of the castle and fast. <sighs> a lot of senseless death. But yeah, we're going to be doing showing you a little bit more of the combat. Uh, the touchpad is also the, pretty much the menu where you're going to be opening up your camp menu. I'll show you more of that later. Anyway, this is going to be talking about the lock-on feature. Lock-on, like I said, since you're playing this on, I'm playing this on the PS3. The Switch edition hasn't come out yet, but that will be later on this year. But yeah, to lock on, you pretty much put, you push your R3, which is the joystick. The, the, this, this one, anyway. You push it. It's also a button, so yeah. Also, while you're trying to switch targets, press left or right on the D-pad. It automatically switches over to who you're trying to take out. Simple. You. All right, Evan, you can come out now. Roland, wait. The soldiers up ahead. What is it? What about them? 
the red uniforms, those men that that mean those means that they are elite guardsmen, which means we don't want to mess with them, right? Well, perhaps if Nella was here, but Nella. Yes, she's ever so strong and awfully kind and knows everything about everything. Have you noticed a lot of kids say that? <sighs> I guess it's easy to understand. If she were here, we would have nothing to fear the likes of them. From the likes of them. Uh, she sounds like quite a woman. But for now, it's just the two of us. Which means we need to take her a different approach. HIT THE BUSHES! <laughs> Don't you just love on tacked on, um, stealth missions? Do we really need to be- Do we really need to do this? Shh, shh, stick to the bushes and move quickly and quietly. I'm assuming as president he had to go through drills like this all, all the time. Let's just... Make sure you're moving while no one's looking. It's easy. I would say it's easy. However, I did catch pain last time I did this. So. Evan, dude, I swear to God. Much further now. Stop. Evan, don't you. Oh my god. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. He should be turning around. There we go. Now all we need to do is just split the scene. Uh, right here should be a good spot. And book it. We made it. This place is a maze. These quarters look just the same as the all the others. Mm. Nella said us to confuse attackers. Guess that makes sense if you're being attacked by outsiders. Okay, next we're going down. We can check the map with L3. The map menu. The map pretty much gets a little bit more and more clear the more you take that path. So, and down we go. Yep. Oh no! I'm trapped. Now this is teaching us blocking. Block with L1. It doesn't block like indefinitely. You will still take damage, but it, it's pretty much reduced. So. Yeah, depending on the type of attack, you can counter it. So yeah, just be patient. Over there. All right, come on. See if I can show off the parry ability. Crap. Nope. <laughs> there you are, Mouse Sorceress. You seize them. Mm. Great reinforcements. All right, let me see if I can. Crap. <laughs> It's all fun and games so fireballs get chucked at people. Right. <laughs> oh, that's just great. Looks like the end of the road. <laughs> Shank season! Now it's time. Sorry, Evan. I came as quickly as I could. Nella! Arinella. Thank goodness you're alright. Mm. Yes, thanks to Roland here. 
rolling. Mm -hmm. Let's save the introductions until after we dealt with these guys. Evasion L1 plus a tilting of the joystick. So all you have to do is just like tap it and then move to the left or the right. It actually clears good distance. This will be over soon. It would help if I actually. You found us when you did. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Nella. <sighs> I don't deserve your thanks. I should have re reached you sooner. But today of all days, how could they? Who exactly are you? How did you get into the castle undetected? I'm Roland, and I'm as curious about how I got here as you are. Roland helped me. He saved my life. <laughs> Finally beginning to see reason, huh? Hmm. Very well. If his majesty counts you as an ally, then so do I. Forgive my suspicions. I am merely doing my duty. My name is Arnella, and I have served as Evan's governess since his birth. <laughs> You're not just a governess, though. You're a bodyguard, too. Yes. I suppose you could say that, yes, although I never had to prove it until today. What's going on, Ella? <sighs> Chancellor Mausinger has started a rebellion. A rebellion. He means to kill you. What? Mausinger? But he was my father's most trusted adv advisor. I must speak with him. I must make him see reason. No. It won't work. This is no spur of the moment uprising. This thing was planned. If he says he wants you dead, he means it. But, but, but we can't just. Arnella, do you know of a safe way out of here? Yes. There is a hidden passage that leads to the sewers. I doubt many in the castle know of his existence. The door will lead us there. That door will lead us there. Back. My whiskers starting to get in my mouth. That's no excuse. I am slightly dyslexic, so yeah. Ooh. Your Majesty, you're all right. Mm. Yes, thanks to Nell and Roland. Huh. No sign of fighting around here. Yeah. Mouncing's main target appears to have been His Majesty. This part of the castle is far enough away from the royal chambers to have escaped his attention. Those of us who are injured or unable to fight have been gathered here and safely for safety. I think the soldiers probably know we're here, but there's no way. There's no way out. There's no way out. So they have us where they want us regardless. We're as good as prisoners. Oh my. Then I mustn't stay long. If I do, I'll be putting you all in danger. Your Majesty. I don't know if these will be of any use to you, but I'd like you to have them. You've obtained five pots of Soraway. Thanks. Thank you very much. If you're, if you're not sure how to apply herbs of these kind, just come speak. Come and speak with me. It's simple enough. We will. Thanks again. Alright, we need to make our way out of here. Uh, might be a good idea to check around the other areas. Excuse me. I have no idea who you are, but I give you... I'll give you one piece of advice regardless. You need to get out of the castle as quick as you can. I mean, I'm sure Arnella will keep us safe, but it's best to not take any chances. You know, I thought there would be a chest in here or something. Item menu. L3 serves as the hint, so if you ever feel like you're lost, it's a good thing to touch the button. It's the other joystick button, so yeah. Anyway. I'm checking here. I don't think there's anything that I can really take. This is pretty much showing that everybody that caught an L is here. 
Anyway, let's mosey on along. <gasps> What's that? Hide quickly. Uh, the aforementioned Black Knight. Who was that knight? Shh. That was the Black Knight. If he's on the prowl, we can't. We can't very well go running blindly around the palace. We'll have to stay here a while and keep watch. But who is the Black Knight? Hmm. Whoever he is, I don't much like the looks of him. He is Mousinger's most trusted and most seldom seen underling. Very little is known about him, but he's rumored that he gained great power through the use of forbidden magics. Of course! Whatever the truth, whatever the truth of such tales, one thing is certain: if we face him, we will die. Oh. You mean not even you can beat him, Nella? Then we'll need to be doubly careful not to draw his attention. Hmm. Yes, yes, we will. We can start by making you look less conspicuous. Wardrobe change. Say, how do I look? You obtain a guard's great coat. Oh. Oh yes, it suits you very well. <laughs> yes, you should. You should count yourself lucky. There was something in your size. Oh, and you'll be needing this. I noticed that you don't have one already. What is it? It's called an arms band. It's for storing and transporting weapons. It allows the wearer to carry a variety of weapons with them and to call on any special skills with with which they are imbued. Blech. Wow. Wow. This little thing does all that. Now. The sword of yours use unless you equip it to your arm band, your arms band, you won't be able to call out its full potential. I'm going to hand you another one. You'll need to equip that as well. So long story short, the arms band is where we're going to have a lot of our inventory. Each character that you play with is going to have four weapons. Three melee weapons, because you have to switch them out, as well as a long range weapon. Depending on the character, you will have a gun, or a bow, or a magic wand, because some characters do use magic. Evan, when he becomes playable, he'll be using sorcery. So he'll be using swords and, sta and magic wands, where Roland uses swords and guns. And since you don't have to worry about reloading, since it's magic, it's going to automatically replenish your ammo, which is broken. So, for example, say I had a katana, a broadsword, and... I want to say dual swords as a as a one slot, and I also have just freeballing it a uh, AR-15 assault rifle. If I run out of ammo, I put it back, and it automatically reloads it by itself, full capacity. Do you realize how broken that is? Yeah. So all this is the purposes. Since you're going to be having a party of three people, you're going to be coming in with nine melee weapons and three firearms makes sense so, all right so both swords need to be equipped to the arms man got it do you have any other weapons well there's my pistol but I'm pretty much out of ammo not to worry, weapons equipped to your armband will have their ammunition replenished automatically see what I'm talking about they, they will? but Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. I would suggest that you equip your sword and pistol, your swords and pistols to your armband right away. Uh, 
equipment skills and menu this pretty much talks about like everything that you're going to be worried about it's not just for a weapon or accessories that you can equip here you can also assign skills to your character so if you have like certain special abilities you can set them here and the reason why is because all three weapons have I want to say it's not a degradation system but the more power that they have the stronger your attacks will be the thing about it is or the more you use them the more it goes down so it's a good idea to swap weapons from time to time and let them recharge while they're in your inventory so while you're fighting using one sword that one start to go down in power swap to another sword then if you want to like get some distance pull your pistol out shoot you run out of ammo don't worry about it just keep using your melee weapon and with time it will rebuild you can also set other things to like different perks to your skills case in point special skills or damaging damage modifiers and so on and so forth that's pretty much what this is telling you everything that i just went over melee and range weapons accessories like armor and other stuff like that you can put in there as well as physical and ma magical defense Tack, pr pretty standard rpg stuff this is where the skills come in play you can assign those to different buttons on your controller so say i want to say r1 and then x does one skill depending on what moves you've learned down the line you can also s customize how you want to attack or put points into whatever attack you want to use the later on the story goes so you'll be seeing a lot of customization options depending on how you play and who you play as so keep that in mind let's go ahead each character has five numerical parameters which indicate their various strengths and aptitudes like i said pretty much you can upgrade your stats from here So what about the broadsword, and the rat, the rat slicer, and my sidearm. Now this is where you'll be putting all your armor and accessories, and this is where your skills I was talking about earlier. Currently we do not have them, so don't worry about it. You can also change your outfit. Now, when you get more costumes you can do that, but right now I'm sticking to the jacket, because I actually like the jacket. So. You can save, but only in specific areas. Like if you're in the over map, I think you can do it. You, and there's also um, save spots too. So you don't have to worry about running out of places to save. Only downside is if you're in a dungeon, like most RPGs, you can't just save willy nilly. But this is what I was talking about with the switching weapons ability. Switch with L2, because like I said, after a while, the weapons do have a degradation of energy. You can replenish it when you swap out. It refills by itself. When it runs out, your attacks basically get cut in half. You can also make it to where you're auto-switching your weapons. So say while you're in a battle, if, you, if you're running out of juice for your first sword, the system will automatically swap it out for you. So it lets and gives you time to recharge. You can set it where you do it yourself, or you can set it where it does it by itself. Depending on how you play, you can customize that anytime you want. Okay. Save stone right here. Waystone, you can also depending on where you've been you can also use that as a use it as a means of travel as well too so say you want to come back here we're not coming back here i'm telling you that right now but any place you've been to before you can use that to warp back and forth you'll learn a spell that allows you to do that later on but for now we can just use it to save did I mention it replenishes everything? Zeal for your weapons, your health, as well as your magic gauge for everybody on the party. Classic RPG stuff. You wanna save? I'm gonna save it at growth, well, three. 
like I said, I've been playing this for a while. I've only got like 11 hours in. Almost 12 hours, so it's been a minute. But yeah, I think this is a good place where I'm going to stop. You know, I never would have thought being the president was difficult. I mean, you wake up one day, you're going to a summit. Everything seems fine till a missile introduces itself to the city you're going to and it's wiped off the face of the map. Oh wait, I think I'm thinking about something else. No, 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 that's how this story starts off. We play as Roland, who is the President of the United States. However, eh, things don't go well. And add more to the mystery, right before he was supposed to die by said airstrike, he wakes up in a distant land that's never been seen before, at least to his eyes, where a boy with ears of a cat and a lion tail is the king of said area however a rebellion is going on between the mice which look like rats so yeah how will we get out of this just gonna have to find out next episode if you like what you see please leave a like and subscribe i love to hear your feedback also hit the notification bell so that way anytime i upload something you'll be the first to see it as always i appreciate you taking a step into my mind even if it was for a short period of time you have a good one